this is an update to a video I did last year. What I'm going to do is take the same basic pattern I'd done earlier in defining the threading and treadling sequences, and I'm going to go through a series of programs and just add the same color scheme to each one, the same pattern with each program. What I'm going to look at is Fiberworks on Mac and Windows. I'm going to look at Weave It, on, Weave It on, Weave It on Windows 11, as well as on an iPad. Pixel Loom on Mac and Windows, Quick Draw, Weave Point, and Tempo Weave, and Wind Weave on Windows 11, as well as the HandWeaving.net draft editor uh, on a Windows 11 Firefox browser. Thank you. This is Fiberwork Bronze on a Mac. Let me first make the pattern big enough so it's a little bit easier to see. And if I want custom colors, I can click there and select the colors I want from the toolbox bars. For the standard colors, I'm going to start with a red. And I just drag that across for the first repeat. I then drag a yellow across the second repeat. And I drag the blue across the third repeat. I select a blue, drag it across the third repeat. And if I want the orange on the first weft repeat, there's my first weft repeat. I want green on the second weft repeat. Select it, drag it down, and I want purple on the third weft repeat. And that's how I can color my pattern in Fiberworks Bronze. This is Fiberworks Bronze on Windows. The pattern only had black and white in its color palette. So Fiberworks has automatically added the rest of its standard color palette. If I wanted to add more colors, if I hit one of the color selections, it would bring up the RGB controls as well as a hue control. In this case, the colors I want here, so if I select a red, I can then drag that across the color bar, a yellow for the second for the second repeat, and a blue for the third repeat. So that gives me the warp. If I want an orange, I can drag an orange for the first repeat of the weft, a green for the second repeat of the weft, and a purple down here for the third repeat of the weft. So that gives me the ability in Fiberworks to go through and add colors. This is Weave It Pro 7 on Windows. Now the first thing I'm going to need to do is to go to the Edit view. I've now got the ability to select Warp and Weft colors, and if I look at the color palette here, you'll notice there's no orange, which I'm going to use. So the first thing I need to do is add a custom color. I can add any color I want. In this case, I'm going to ask for an orange. I'm going to set the color so it's now added that to the color palette. So I'm going to select the first repeat of the warp. I want it in red. The second repeat of the warp, I want to do in yellow. And the third repeat of the warp, I'm going to do in blue, bring it down, there's the blue, and the first repeat of the weft, select that, now I want to go to the weft yarn, pull down, and uh, let's scroll down to the orange, the second repeat I want to do in green, and the third repeat I want to do in purple, and there's purple. So I now have the same pattern colorized in Weave It. This is I Weave It on an iPad. And so I'll start out with the same pattern. And let me go add some color to this. So I think all the colors I need are going to be sitting here. So I'll select red. And go through and set the first set of warps. To red, the second set to yellow.
And drag those over in the third set blue. Now I want to use, if I do want to add more colors, I can do the color setup and select what I want there and I kind of have a, the orange there is kind of a beige, but we'll deal with it. So the first thing I want to do is select the weft, ask for the orange, and go through set the orange for the first repeat, the green for the second repeat, and drag that up. And let me call that purple for the third, since that looks kind of red. So I've now colorized that same figure. From my same basic pattern, the first thing I'm going to need to do is add some color, since this palette only has black and white in it. So if I select the color tool, I get the list of standard colors, so I just start with red. I can then drag that red across the first repeat, I can scroll for a yellow, drag that across the second repeat, and for the third I want a blue, so I've now got the blue, let me fill in the blue across the third repeat here. Now I can start doing weft. I want to start with an orange. Be careful with that mouse. Fill in the orange. Now we need a green. Again, fill in the green. And then go for purple. So I now have the colored pattern in Pixel Loom. This is Pixel Loom on Windows. So let me start by selecting a red pen. I can now drag the red color across the first repeat. Be more careful to make sure I keep that in the middle. Now I want to grab a yellow pen. Drag that across the second repeat. And a blue pen for the third repeat. So I've now got the warp done. I go back into an orange pen. Now let me carefully drag through the warp column here. So that's the first repeat. I want to use a green for the second repeat. So I've got the green, I want to drag it down for the next section. And then I want to go the purple for the last set. Repeat. I use that one. So that gives me the same color pattern in Pixel Loom. This is Quick Draw on Windows. First thing I'm going to want to do, if I, if I select the first block of the warp, we get palette right now is only black and white, so I can either add specific colors, a 12 color color wheel or a rainbow color wheel. I'll just pick the rainbow colors. Uh, I could also do RGB colors or red, yellow, blue primaries. If you think of orange as red with a little bit of yellow instead of red with a little bit of green, that may be easier. So once I've got the colors in the palette, I ask for the first repeat in red the second repeat in yellow, the third repeat in blue, first weft repeat in orange. I'm actually using the right mouse button to select which I'm looking for. The green and the third repeat in purple. So now I've got the same colorized pattern 
in Quick Draw. This is Weave Point on Windows. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask for a red pen. So I get there's the first repeat. I'm going to ask for a yellow pen. Fill in the second repeat. Scroll down to a blue pen. The third repeats in blue. Look for an orange pen to the left. There's an orange pen. So I fill in the first repeat of an orange. Second repeat in green. And the third repeat in a purple. And so that's how I would color that same pattern in Weave Point. Thank you. Okay, I'm in Tempo Weave and I'm going to add colors to this figure. Now, most of the colors I need are actually already in the palette here. But if I scroll down to the bottom of the palette and do a right mouse click, I can actually enter any color I want to by RGBA content, it looks like. So let me scroll back up. I want to select red. Do the first repeat of the pattern in red. Second repeat of the pattern in yellow. Third repeat in blue. Get a navy. First repeat of the weft in orange. Scroll down there. I'm going to do that one in orange, the next one in green, and the last one. Scroll down. And we'll do it in plum. So I've now got that pattern in color so I can see it. First thing I'm going to do is hit the select tool, carefully mark out the first repeat of the pattern. Now I've only got black and white in the palette, so let me add a red. Now when I hit the red, I've got the area selected. So I add the first color block, select the second repeat. Again, right click, add color. I want the second block in yellow. Again, yellow, color block, yes, third block, third repeat I want in blue. Select that third repeat. Again, right click, add color, blue. Select the blue, color block, yes, so I've now got the work done. Unfortunately, the weft's in white, so it's a little hard to see. So the weft's in white, actually, if I just grab all of it, I will set it all to orange to begin with, and then I can see it for the lining. So I've now got orange, add orange, so those are all orange. Now what I'll do is grab that second block, and I want to add a green color, and I'll do a dark green. Select the green color block, yes, and then the last of it. I want to again add Add a color. In this case, I'm just going to add a purple. I'm going to select the purple block, color block, yes. And I now have the pattern in WinWeave 2. Okay, this is handweaving.net. What I'm going to do next is add color to this basic diagram. So when I click the colors box here, it now gives me the ability to fill in colors. So the first thing I want is a red. So I select red, select red, the first repeat of the pattern in red. Then I want a yellow, fairly rich yellow here. Okay. Second repeat in yellow, third repeat in blue. Select blue, 
We've got no color. Select blue. Third repeat is now in blue. And I need more colors. So when I hit the plus, I want an orange. I click the little icon up there. Kind of a mustard yellow, mustard orange, but that works for the sake of discussion. So the first repeat. Green for the second block. Second left repeat in green. Third warp repeat. Er, third left repeat in purple. So let me look for a purple. That purple. And I've now got the same figure colorized using hand weaving.next drafting tool.